And one of the things I've looked at recently that I never looked at before were crop circles. Okay, I always thought crop circles were, I don't know, I thought it was some kind of hoax or something. I, I really did not think that it was a message from above or star beings or whatever you, you want to allude to it being. And as David Wilcox said, I was more along the line of thinking that it was, you know, a couple drunk Englishmen stomping in the field. But I discovered some very interesting facts about crop circles that I want to share with you because I didn't know it, so I'm thinking maybe you don't know it either. And that is that... The crop circles are, when they occur, they flatten the plant and at exactly a 51 degree angle. At least the real crop circles do. And they don't kill anything. The plants all come back, even if they're, they're um, you know, fruiting. They don't kill anything. And they found that there's a, a like a crystalline structure change in the plant and that the seeds that these plants give off that have been involved in the crop circles actually yield more fruit. So to me that that really stuck out because if it was a higher ordered being trying to give us a message, I do believe that they wouldn't kill anything in the process of it. You know, and if it was some government playing a fear hoax on us, they certainly wouldn't care about killing anything. So I can't see them all deciding to, you know, let's put it at 51 degree angle and make sure we don't kill any of the plants. That didn't come from any government or anybody on earth. So that I thought was very interesting. And the other thing I thought was really profound was the crop circles that are showing the possible evolution of our DNA, because really that's what I believe we're looking at in 2012, you know? So of course it's going to bring up all this fear, like, you know, how do you change your DNA without dying? And what will that look like exactly? And how do you prepare for evolution? Kind of scary subjects. But what we are finding is that the one thing that you can't be is fearful. If you just love and have faith, it's the best protection you can have. So I'm going to try and find some pictures of these crop circles over in England um, that I saw in the documentary that show our possible evolving DNA. And um, anyway, I'd love your comments. And um, I just found it really fascinating. I hope you do too in our continuing conversations on 2012.